Hi, I'm Donovan Ortega from Mexico. I'm working at the Fray Francisco de Vitoria Human Rights Center and I'm the responsible of the International Advocacy Agenda. In 2015, I see that justice will become a reality for every person or family who has been a victim of violence in Mexico, that we have a more equitable society where the discrimination, hate speech, or injustices no longer exist. International advocacy has helped me to develop strategies and mechanisms for action that uh, make the situations visible, as well as to build alliances with a common goal, always thinking that everything is done at the international level have a direct impact in our national realities. When I'm really aware of the injustices and the context of violence in which we live as a country, I wanted to get involved in some way or another. And also for my life story, I decided to participate in the human rights defense. I started doing a lot of volunteer work with different organizations and groups, but one in particular with teenagers living in very complex conditions allowed me to realize what I had to do with my life and with my work. And after it, when I started collaborating with the Fray Francisco de Victoria Human Rights Center, where I have the opportunity to support and join many, many causes, I understand, I understand the, the meaning of to be a human rights um, defender that is like a way of life. And like one of my friends always said to me is uh, that we try to defend the happiness from, from a principle of reality. And that is why I do this, this work. And well, it's not an easy work, mainly because of the criminalization and constant discourse against human rights defenders and civil society organizations. We must have all the guarantees not only to protect our personal integrity and life itself, but also have conditions that facilitate our work. In our case, everything changed because the most part of our activities depends on the physical work. So the first months uh, were very, very, very hard. But I think we, we understand the situation. We try to modify our um, way to work. But I think uh, one of the most important lessons of these times is the importance to build networks to, to face of this, of this challenge. It's very important that the international community continues to make visible and raise its voice about the human rights violations in Mexico, in particular for the thousands of victims of the municide violence, for the necessary attention of the victims of the grave human rights violations, for ensuring the freedom of expression and for defending and protect the work of the human rights defenders and civil society organizations.